The Civil Registration Outreach Program started in February, going on until June, if there would be no need to go back to certain areas that were not fully covered. The Civil Registration Deputy Director, Dorothy Mubiana, explains the exercise. We have issued timely birth registrations. We have issued birth certificate for timely birth of 210 and then for late birth registration, 752. That is on birth certificates. And we have registered identity cards. Identity cards for new IDs, those who are applying for the first time, we have registered 1,151. And for those with lost IDs broken, which we call duplicate identity cards, we have so far registered 921. So far, the Civic Affairs Office has covered three constituencies of Kabe North, Kabe South, and Kongola constituency. Some areas in Kongola have unique challenges. The challenge which we had at Omega 3 is that of electricity. We could not capture IDs at Omega 3. At Cheto, we captured IDs. The main challenge which we were having in Cheto is that we found that there is a bit of language barriers, especially to the spelling of their names. But we managed with the help of the CDC and the community leaders. We, it was a, a successful exercise in Cheto. We came to Masambo. Masambo, we did birth registration and identity cards. There is quite a lot of adults who do not have national identity cards. It seems as if we need to push more on public advocacy, and that is another activity which we have on our plan. Civil Registration Deputy Director is appealing to the community to use the opportunity to go out in numbers and register. Mubiana invited those who might not qualify to obtain the documents to visit the registration points to be advised further. For a person born in the hospital, it is required that you bring the hospital card where the first immunization of the child is. And for those who are born in the villages, the village leaders, like the headmen, they can give a letter to testify that they know the birth of that particular person. Those are some of the requirements. Also, a first uh, testimonial of the school where you attended grade 1 to grade 3, it can also serve as a proof that you have been born in that particular area. The identity card of the parents, the mother and the father, if available. If the, one of the parents does not have an identity, as you know we are a border town, we have cross-border cross marriages. If it is a national identity from another country, bring it, we do accept them for the registration of your child. Birth registration is important for the child to get a name, for the child to have immunization, for a child even to get married one day, you need an identity. Mubiana advised that even children with one foreign partner can be registered, provided that the identity document of such a parent is made available to registration officers.